Hey YouTube, I'm making this video to announce that I'm starting my first series and it's going to be based around my juvenile delinquency. So this is going to be the first video of the series. I'm going to be touching base on things such as each program I did when I was incarcerated as a juvenile, the unreasonable amount of time I did in the juvenile system for a very minor offense, how they went about treatment within these juvenile facilities. I want to talk about restraining. I would like to talk about all the medication that was shoved down everybody's throats, like we were guinea pigs, like we were experiments to be experimented on. I'm going to be doing interviews with other girls that I was incarcerated with in those facilities. We're going to get into talking about how I should have a high school diploma, but most of those treatment facilities don't give actual school credits. So now I'm sitting here not graduated because of that. The unneeded trauma I went through within the juvenile system. More crimes I committed while I was in those facilities. The crimes that led me to being incarcerated as a juvenile in the first place. I want to talk about proper restraining techniques versus improper restraining techniques. I want to talk about relationships between the staff members and the residents who were minors. I want to talk about relationships within the unit between the females. I want to talk about the relationships that we had with the boys on the bottom floor and how we communicated with them through the wall. I want to touch base on how traumatizing it is to strip search 10 individuals at one time, about six times a day, saying you're looking for contraband. With men running the control center, and control is just the security, so they were right on the cameras. I'm going to get into depth about some of the fights I've been in while incarcerated as a juvenile. I want to talk about isolation rooms and padded rooms and the cut off of basic human connection. I want to talk about the fact that children with minor offenses are housed with children with very, very serious offenses and the children with, you know, minor offenses start to learn and hear stories from the other individuals. Honestly, everything that I mentioned probably isn't even the half of it. This journal is probably going to get filled up with a lot more topics, so I'm going to go ahead and start this week coming up. We're going to get into it. I'm not really sure the order it's going to go in, but it's going to make sense whatever order it goes in. But this is the official release of We're Doing It. It's going to be here next week. Thank you guys. Love you. Tune in.